So this is a quick video that shows you how to export your course content from Blackboard. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to want to be in your Blackboard course. So here I am in a particular Blackboard shell and I'm just going to scroll down here now over on the left hand menu until I get to the packages and utilities option under the course management menu. Um, it's possible that this may be hidden under your control panel here. So if that is the case, just click on the little triangle next to control panel and it will list off all of your control panel options. There's a little triangle next to the packages and utilities and if I click on that one, you'll see one of my options is to export or archive my course. So I'm going to want to click on that link and you can see that it gives me the export package or archive course. Those are the two sort of tabs that I have here. Now in my case, I want to create an export package. So I'm going to click on that option and as you can see here, it brings up the export course option. And what I tend to do is I tend to select the copy links and include copies of files in the course directory. I also say that for the files outside of the course default directory. So I'm going to want to click on the second option here for both of these items. Now the next thing I want to do is you'll see it gives me the option of picking any of the content individually. The easiest thing to do is just click select all. What that's going to do is it's going to download all of the instructor created content in the course. So any PowerPoint files you may have uploaded, any web-based content you might have included or links you might have added or media site recordings that might be in the course, any of the assignments and quizzes and question banks, even the discussion prompts that you made will all be downloaded in this export package. The only thing that won't be downloaded are things that students submitted. So anything that students submitted or that students did, so the students' responses to the discussion forum or the discussion board, those types of things won't be included. Um, but everything else, anything that you or any of the other faculty in the course created, any of the other instructors in the course created, all of those things will be included. So once I've got that, and you can see now all of these things are clicked here, I'm just going to click on the Submit button and it's going to start working and you can see this little green bar up here it says success the action has been queued an email will be sent when the process is complete and the other thing that you can do if you don't want to wait in your email box is if you just click on the refresh button here you'll see that as you can see date created this is the one that I just did right there 718 sorry 6 14 19 and you can see at 12 27 p.m. Um, that's Eastern time I'm guessing so here is the file that I just created so for me to download this all I have to do is click on it and in my case it automatically downloads here in your case it may ask you to save it first and that's fine um, just save it and it should save to your download file in this case, you can see the file is about 7 megabits, so it's only going to take probably 10 or 15 seconds in total. And as you can see there now, it is completed. So that's been a quick little video that shows you how to export your course content from Blackboard.